सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द शैटिक नर्व सो वी नो द शैटिक नर्व हैज गॉट टू कॉम्पोनेंट्स दैट इज अ कॉमन पेरोनियल कॉम्पोनेंट एंड टिबियल कॉम्पोनेंट सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कॉमन पेरोनियल नर्व एंड द टू ब्रांचेस ऑफ कॉमन पेरोनियल विच आर कॉल्ड एज सुपरफिशियल पेरोनियल एंड डीप पेरोनियल सो स्टार्टिंग विद अस कॉमन पेरोनियल नर्व so this common peroneal nerve it is a smaller terminal branch of sciatic nerve it appears in the popliteal fossa beneath the long head of biceps femoris so here the biceps femoris this is the so it lies beneath the long head of biceps femoris and it slopes downwards and laterally along the medial side of the tendon of biceps femoris up to the lateral angle of the fossa so of the foot is shown showing the common peroneal nerve dividing into two branches it uh, winds round the neck of the fibula and pierces the peroneus longus muscle and terminates by dividing into superficial and deep branches so here this is the point of termination and this is the peroneus longus muscle peroneus longus muscle is a peroneal compartment that is the lateral compartment muscle of the leg and we can see the common peroneal nerve dividing into two branches the one which is going into the anterior compartment is the deep peroneal nerve the other one which is along the lateral compartment which continues supplying the peroneus longus and brevis in the lateral compartment are is superficial peroneal nerve so these two are the branches in the popliteal fossa the common peroneal nerve gives rise to some cutaneous branches and genicular branches so the here is a schematic picture showing the branches of uh, common peroneal so this is this is the deep peroneal nerve the other is the superficial peroneal nerve and it gives rise to some uh, cutaneous branches within the popliteal fossa the cutaneous branches are sural communicating nerve it arises opposite to the head of the fibula so it is this schematic picture this is the sural communicating nerve which is a cutaneous nerve and uh, it crosses the superficial to the lateral head of the gastrocnemius to join the sural nerve the other communicating is the lateral cutaneous nerve lateral sural nerve it arises lower down and pierces the deep fascia and supplies the skin on the upper part of the lateral leg the other cutaneous nerve is the lateral cutaneous nerve so this blue colored area it is supplied by lateral cutaneous nerve which is a branch of common peron direct branch of common peroneal nerve and common peroneal also gives rise to some genicular branches uh, these are like a superior lateral genicular and inferior lateral genicular recurrent genicular nerves so you can see several branches here which are called as genicular branches and uh, the first two that is uh, superior lateral genicular and inferior lateral genicular supply the knee joint and the last one that is the recurrent lateral genicular uh, this is the one which supplies the tibio fibular joint that is the superior tibio fibular joint so genicular means they meant to supply the joints so the common peroneal nerve can be palpated against the neck of the fibula so we know that common peroneal nerve winds around the neck of the fibula so that is the site we can palpate the further common peroneal nerve and common peroneal nerve gives no muscular branches in the popliteal fossa continuing with the superficial peroneal nerve which is uh, considered as the musculocutaneous nerve of leg 
and uh, it is the nerve of the lateral compartment lateral compartment of leg is the peroneal compartment where it contains only two muscles in the peroneal compartment one is the peroneus longus the other is the peroneus brevis so let's see about this superficial peroneal nerve little more in detail so superficial peroneal nerve if you see its origin it is one of the two terminal branches of the common peroneal nerve given off at the neck of the fibula it arises in the substance of the peroneus longus so we can see here the here is our peroneus longus which is pierced by the common peroneal so it arises within the peroneus longus on the lateral side of the neck of the fibula let's see its course in the leg course in relations it begins on the lateral side of the neck of the fibula and descends for a short distance between the peroneus longus and brevis muscle so the other muscle what you are seeing here this is peroneus longus and the one which is down below is peroneus brevis and you can see this note the superficial peroneal nerve it is between this peroneus longus muscle and peroneus brevis muscle so that is the course of superficial peroneal nerve in the peroneal compartment and then it lies in a groove between the peroneus brevis and extensor digitorum longus so we can see here this is extensor digitorum longus where we can see it divides into four tendons to the four toes so this superficial peroneal nerve it is in the groove here so all of you try to observe here so it is in the groove between the extensor digitorum longus and peroneus brevis this one is the peroneus brevis muscle so let's talk about the branches and distribution of the peroneal nerve uh, it gives off muscular branches to peroneus longus and brevis this is peroneus longus the other one is peroneus brevis and it gives off cutaneous branches the cutaneous branches supply the skin of the lower one third of the leg and lateral side of the leg and dorsum of the foot except the territory supplied by the saphenous sural and deep peroneal nerves so let's see the uh, further branches of the peroneal nerve in the dorsal side of the foot so if we see it has got two terminal branches medial terminal and lateral terminal branch so this is the this is the medial terminal branch and this one is the lateral terminal branch so we can see the medial terminal branch superficial peroneal nerve crosses the ankle and divides into two digital nerves so these are the digital nerves and one for goes to the medial side of the big toe and other goes to the cleft so one medial side of the big toe and other goes to the cleft between the second and the third toes and let's see the late lateral terminal branch lateral terminal branch uh, that is the so of the superficial peroneal nerve also divides into two dorsal uh, digital nerves where we can see it uh, goes to the third and fourth interdigital clefts so this is the cleft between third fourth to this is the cleft between the fourth and fifth to so one thing we have to note here the distribution of the superficial peroneal nerve corresponds to the distribution of the radial nerve in the forearm where the injury of the superficial peroneal nerve uh, the injury is the of so leads to loss of eversion of the foot because peroneus longus and brevis are paralyzed so because uh, these two muscles are supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve so because of the paralysis of peroneus longus and brevis there will be a loss of eversion because these two are the everters of the foot and sensory loss on the lateral aspect of the leg so we know most of the lateral aspect of the leg is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve and there will be a sensory loss on the dorsum of the foot except the web space between the first and the second toe 
and the dorsal aspect of all the toes we can see it is supplied by the deep peroneal so rest of it is supplied by the deep peroneal nerves so these things are supplied by here this is supplied by deep peroneal nerve so the rest of it the green shaded area is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve so there will be a loss of sensation wherever it supplies so next continuing with the next uh, further topic about the deep peroneal nerve deep peroneal nerve is called as anterior tibial nerve so deep peroneal nerve is the anterior tibial nerve which supplies the anterior compartment of the leg and a little part on the dorsum of the foot it corresponds to the posterior interosseous nerve so it corresponds to the posterior interosseous nerve here is the deep peroneal now so let's talk about the origin of deep peroneal nerve uh, it is one of the two terminal branches of common peroneal which is given off at the neck of the fibula so we can see here it is given off at the neck of the fibula so talking about its course and relations of uh, deep peroneal it begins on the lateral side of the neck of the fibula under the cover of upper fibers of peroneus longus muscle and it enters the anterior compartment of the leg by piercing the anterior intermuscular septum and where it pierces the extensor digitorum longus muscle so first we shall find out this this is the extensor digitorum longus i am erasing the rest of the things so let us locate this extensor this is the extensor digitorum longus muscle so the, the deep peroneal nerve is here so it uh, pierces first the extensor digitorum longus then it descends down in the anterior compartment and along with an artery which is called as anterior tibial artery in the leg it accompanies the anterior tibial artery the nerve lies lateral to the artery so if we see its relations with the anterior tibial artery the nerve lies lateral to the anterior tibial artery in its upper one third of the leg in the middle one third it is said that the uh, the nerve hesitates to cross the artery so from the lateral to medial side so it goes back to the lateral side of the artery again so hence the deep peroneal nerve is referred as nervous hesitance so this is named because it fits relation with the anterior tibial artery the nerve ends in the front of the ankle by dividing into lateral and medial terminal branches uh, lateral branch which runs on the lateral side little laterally and then it ends up in the pseudo ganglion that is it runs along the lateral side of the foot and uh, between to supply the extensor digitorum brevis and tarsals and metatarsal joints whereas the medial terminal branch it runs uh, forwards and ends in supplying in the skin adjacent to the big toe and the second toe so this is the medial terminal medial terminal branch of deep peroneal nerve let's see about the muscular branches which are arising from the deep peroneal nerve the muscular branches supplying all the four muscles in the anterior compartment of the leg that is the extensor brevis so we can see the muscular branches there are several muscular branches which supplies all the extensor compartment that is the anterior compartment of the leg so it supplies to extensor brevis on the dorsum of the foot also so apart from the uh, anterior compartment muscles it supplies to extensor brevis which is present on the dorsum of the foot and uh, supplies to first uh, dorsal interosseous muscle in the sole of the foot in sole of the foot and cutaneous branches it supplies the skin of the first interdigital cleft so that is the terminal cutaneous branch of the deep peroneal nerve so this completes the deep peroneal nerve where we saw its origin and its uh, cutaneous branches muscular branches of deep peroneal nerve so that's how we completed common peroneal nerve 
superficial peroneal nerve and deep peroneal nerve anatomy thank you